Okay, so I'm going to record this again. It crashed. This is for somebody made a comment about how I did my void to Blender to get off for animations. So I made this awfully short. You don't, you export the VRM here at the base and then the one for chest size, which has the perimeter all the way up. Do not take the check mark off where it says something like uh, delete polygons or something. Just leave it alone. And I have these two files from Meximo, okay, right here. Usually it looks like this. I did like stand a walk. It has to be in place. And when you download, do without scan. Do not do with scan, okay? Boom, download. I already did it, so we're done with that. So for Blender, you also want to download Cat's plugin. Usually it loads up like this. Master, it's for a very old version of Blender, 2.8. You want to do is go to development. It's for up to 3.5 plus. Download the zip files. Also, you need to go to Rukuku. Okay, download that file. Okay, there it is. For right now, I can show you how to import this to Godot without importing the VM importer. You don't need this. Okay, I made a folder. I can rename this. This is on Linux, but you can do this on Windows. It just gives you a warning in Windows. Linux doesn't. So just click there, click and drag. Simple. While I was doing that, I can rename this too. Oops, beat me to it. Okay, so here it is. There's the model, and here's all the textures. Okay, it's real simple. Usually it's backwards, just leave it alone. Okay, so I can delete it because I can re import it. Okay, I gotta close all that stuff here for that. So in Blender, here we are. I hit N keyboard, I have to get that cats and Riku. Okay. First thing you want to do is make sure there's nothing in the screen, because this will carry over to Godot. File import GIF. Okay, there's my base. Okay, import. Boom. There it is. Armature. Okay. Right now I can hit G for move X to lock in the axis and control. You can move over twice. The reason I want to do this, show you a demonstration, is um, actually that void does transfer the blend shapes, okay, for the face but not for the body, okay? Uh, these are, are separate exports. It's kind of pain in the butt, but to transfer this, see, there's no blend shapes either. This blend shape to this, click on the body first, second one, okay? This is amateur one, okay? Click, shift click. Down arrow, join the shapes. Okay, now this has one that's called Buddy 0.001. If you move it, now it has blend shapes. And you can do this for like waist width, neck thickness, arm thickness. It just cannot be length. No long arms, long legs, because that's for armature or skeleton. You just can't do it. So I can rename this to like chest. Nice. You can do whatever you want. I'll just keep it the same. I will highlight this. We know this is Emberchar 001. Let's just delete that. Or select the whole thing. Then delete. Okay, it's gone. Now highlight this one. Select hierarchy. G to move. X. Control to move over. Now I don't like this 
bone structure. I'll show you here what I mean. You got this long thing here, thumb is not jointed, the breast is not jointed, okay? So I'll show you what to do here a little bit. So take that. You don't have to select anything, go to cats, okay? And do fixed model. Takes a few seconds. Okay, boom. I can have the body. Now the bones are connected. The thumb looks a little better to have that weird looking thing there and there. I don't think you need to do this, but I just do it. Okay? There it is. We're done. Okay, if you want. So So here it is, chest size. Now he has it, including everything. Okay. There it is. Okay. We're done with that part. You can, if you don't want the emissions, file, export the GLB. Okay. You, if you want to import the emissions, import the FBX. Let's do the idle, import. Okay, it's gonna be backwards. It's feeds over here, they face over here. So you wanna do a hit R for rotate, Z, then control to do it in increments. Up there on the top left, 180. Okay, simple. This is temperature one again. You have to pay attention because if you go down here, hit space. You can see um, that one does the idle. Okay. Oops. And you want to do is go to root cuckoo. Okay. There it is. Retargeting. Okay. Pick up the source. The one which is imported. That's armature one. And the lady. Let's see. Armature. Done. Build this. Now this should come out with nothing, no blanks. Okay. When I did the cat's fixed model, it puts these more generic names. So you have this weird stuff like this on the left. Okay. You want to do is uh, turn the auto scale off and retarget animation. Boom. Now the thing I haven't figured out yet, it erases the model up a little bit. If you guys know how to fix that, please leave a comment. In a way, there it is. Okay. If I select on her, now she has animation. Okay. And to see a little better is you can go dope sheet, go action, retarget. There it is right there. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. This one here is the one from up there. Okay. You just have to find out which one works and which one doesn't. Retarget is the one you want. Okay. Here's how it copies that. But, I'll show you here real quick. There's the amateur one, which is the one that we want to be reported. It's like hierarchy and X to delete it. It's gone, right? So you got this one. Okay. If we try to do that one. Well, it shouldn't work, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. So you want this. Even though you delete those amateurs, it's still in here. Usually in the view layer, I go to blend file. And there's all these temperatures. You highlight those one, two, and three. Hit the X. Right click, delete. This is the one that's for this one. Okay. In actions, you want to do this too, because if you don't, then you have two of these in Codo. So hit that. Right click, delete. You still have this one. Here it is. Now it's gone. See? But 
I would do is call this idle. Make a short name. See? Now go back to layer view. You're done. Okay? Let's take this off. Or go back to idle so you don't have all that stuff. So you're done with this. Okay? There it is. Looks nicely, right? File, export, GBO. And I would say uh, base with body blend. blends. Even though there's only one, but you just do that. Okay, we're done. It's going to take a while. It's done. Let's go to Kodo. Okay, here's the old one 12, 17. So it's a little more. Now you just, oops, need to highlight this first. You wait for the import. Okay, there it is. Okay. Okay. There it is. All done. It's going to look a little weird, but to fix this, make a new entrance. Okay, there's the animation. If you want to look at it, you know, you hit play. There she is. Okay. That's all I'm going to show you for now. But in here, you can add animation, the running, and so on. But this is good for now. Highlight this first. Control S. Save this scene. Okay. That way you you have your TSC, which is that one. Okay. Now to change this, you have to right click, clear entrances, clear. Control S. In some reason, I have to do it twice because you can't uh, do any changes. Click on the body. Okay. And there's all these. They don't say what these are. You just have to look at it. That's the body scan. This is the mouth. If you guys know how to fix this, let me know too. I can do the body because it just does the uh, specular. And if you want, always make sure this is disabled except for the eye pieces you can leave it back well for shading if you want the tune look go to like unshaded see in this tune okay if you want that's how you do it it doesn't look good right now because it's really bright but that's how you do it. So there, animation players there, and you just got that one. You don't have you don't have that really long name. So that's how I got a show for now. Thanks for watching.